Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys might be like, uh, Kristen, what is going on? But you guys, Adopt Me just posted a new update. It is not showing on my main account or any of my alt accounts. So um, huge thank you to Uma for allowing me to capture this content. Um, yeah, go make sure to subscribe to her channel. Oh, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description and pinned in the comments. Uma, you are a lifesaver. But you guys, we have a ton of new stuff that we are going to be checking out. Adopt Me. I don't know if this was an accident or uh, if they meant to do this, but we're going to be checking out the new build update and you guys are not going to want to miss this. So, of course, make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed to Uma, that you guys have notifications on. And let's go ahead and just get started. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. It helps support me and my channel. Okay, so I'm kind of having a little bit of a Freaky Friday moment. Um, Uma, I'm loving the look. So let's go over and click Edit House. And you're gonna see that there's actually this new icon up here. I'm gonna get a bunch of pictures so I can maybe show you guys a little bit better. Okay, so we have a bunch of new things that we can use. So. This is the grid type. So this means that if you have it set to one, it's going to move very, very blocky. If you set it to a half, it's gonna move half a block, if you guys can notice the difference. And this one is gonna make it so it's super duper smooth. That is going to work perfectly if we're kind of like trying to, you can even like, yeah, merge things together, but this just lets it glide, kind of like your grid size. That's where it is now. Oh my gosh, the lava dragon. <laughs> okay, next up, what we're gonna be able to do, let's use this space. So if we click on this area, this is going to allow us to drag and create a selection like this. This is going to let us move all of this furniture at one time. If you wanna put this back, and maybe you only want to grab the two chairs. It might even grab the rug as well. Just the two chairs we're grabbing. You can rotate it. So this is going to let you grab multiple things at one time. Then we have this one. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> so we have the default dragger, which is just this. You drag it, you pick it up, and you drag it. We also have advanced mode. Now this reminds me of using like blender type of stuff where you grab the arrows and that chair is going to go wherever you pull that arrow. Now there's also going to be rotate, which you're gonna be able to rotate this chair. This is going to honestly come in handy so much in Adopt Me for Build. So this is going to allow you to place things on an angle. You guys know I love my floating chairs. So we can do this and click and it stays exactly how you put it okay so next <laughs> we have like so many options now we're gonna go over to this settings menu or the little gear and there's a couple different things that you can do if we enable x-ray vision this is going to highlight in green all of the pieces of furniture that we have in our home so you can see everything is highlighted you can see there's like five pieces of furniture in here so if we go inside you can actually see them so if you are even glitch building or you lost a piece when you are building it all will show up so yeah I think that is actually super duper cool okay we also have reset furniture rotation no furniture so we can do this reset furniture rotation we'll just put it back we can even go over go back to the default dragger over here now you guys I'm gonna turn off my x-ray let's just disable it wait until you see what we're getting ready to do we're gonna pull out a normal fridge okay actually I'm gonna go over and place out two random things so let's go over to the meme stuff let's do the ball okay I'm gonna put the fridge back let's go over right here and place a beach ball and another beach ball just so that we can see the difference in this size okay so now we're gonna go over and what we're gonna do is click on now do you see the hold and drag to scale you're gonna be able to make these beach balls or anything bigger or smaller so you can make them bigger 
You can make them super teeny tiny, which this I have been waiting for. This is honestly gonna come in handy. So amazing with the rocks, the flowers, everything like that that we have. So yeah, you can now actually change the size of everything. <laughs> you guys, this is epic. This is a huge game changer for builders here in Adopt Me. And this is still rolling out. Like I said, I wasn't actually able to get this on my main account or even any of my alts yet. So a lot of people have this, a lot of people don't. So hopefully with over the next day, a lot of us that are still waiting will have this, um, yeah, in our games. Let me know you guys, what are you most excited about? Are you guys going to be using this? And of course, make sure to say a huge thank you to Uma in the comments. Give today's video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.